Uh, Augie, you work in maintenance here? Yep. How long have you been doing that? Um, three years on and off of, 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 as the season goes. Right. And uh, so do you see the uh, issue of mold and, and uh, sewage in the boats as a problem? Yeah, a very big problem. How long has that been going on? Uh, as long as I've worked here, and I've worked here a long time. Right. And uh, why do you think the company doesn't fix it? Um, <laughs> they don't, they, I don't think that they see it as a, um, <laughs> as a necessary cost. As a necessary cost, huh? right. And uh, what do you think of the issues that are coming up here? What are the ones that are most important to you? Uh, well, I think the health and safety of uh, both the passengers and the crew is uh, is of uh, very high importance. Um, and I think that one of the one of the things that uh, is very un uncomfortable for me uh, is that the the heads of the restrooms on the boats um, leak from from the upper decks to the lower decks on many of the, on some of the boats, and uh, the overheads. Uh, where the uh, ventilation systems um, are pushing air into the passenger spaces aren't uh, aren't cleanly. Lots of dust and mold and and sewage and other things that can t contaminate the air. Right. So that sounds like a pretty serious question. Yeah. All right. Okay. And the uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, sanitary conditions on the boat are a problem. Is that one of the issues here? Oh yeah. Terrible. They're bad. They're right. bad. I don't. I don't even like going in the restrooms myself. Really, you know, it's that bad. We, we do our best to clean them, but I think it's beyond what we could do. Uh huh. So it's a, it's a problem with the system itself, the sewage system on board. Oh yeah, that's what I believe. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And how long has that been going on? Like I said, I've been here five years. It's been long, that long, <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, for me, that's what I noticed. It. I I try to clean up the boat, but the boat got mold. They stink like a barn, and I like them to. Uh, do the uh, effort on cleaning up the boats. So the, the company's not uh, taking care of the sanitary problems. That, is that one of the issues? Well, they like they put a bandaid on a, uh, on a on a bullet wound. It's like, so they're not doing the the stuff that's necessary. You think the sewage pro the sewage system is not working well? That's been an off and on, off and on problem for a, a, a while. Right. So, so you know they they'll, they'll patch it up like I said before. Then they but it's not. They gotta do it right. Like the people go down for the leaks on on the boat, but they said, "Oh, it's too much money. We don't want to spend money to, to fix the leaks." Mm -hmm. and that's from Greg Hanser. You right. know, they came down and said, "Well, you gotta do it." Well, sorry, they just want the money for the passenger service, and they'll go up 15 percent each year to try to get the money, but they don't want to put forth anything. They just want the money. Right. So, uh, and what about the uh, conditions in terms of? Sewage and mold on the boats. Is there a lot of that? Now, the sewage on the boat, I've been splashed with it one time. And I've seen other guys get splashed with that. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a bad, bad situation. Right. And you think that uh, is exposure that the, the public also gets to the mold and the sewage? Definitely. Every time I see a baby crawling on that deck, I get sick.